Route Summarization, also known as Route Aggregation. A summary route is a single route that can be used to represent multiple routes. Route summarization, which is also known as route aggregation, is a method of minimizing the number of routing tables in an IP network. It functions by consolidating selected multiple routes into a single route advertisement. This is in contrast to routing in which every routing table contains a unique entry for each route. To implement routing summarization in IPv4, classless interdomain routing or CIDR must be used. All IP addresses in the route advertisements must share identical high order bits. So let's take a look and see how the summarization occurs. For our example, we'll use a small business that contains three different internal networks. We'll take these three networks and combine their addresses into a simple summarization that works more efficiently and prevents recursive lookups. Our three networks, internal networks, are the 172.16.1.2 and .3 networks, all slash 24. All of these networks go into router B, which in turn store them into the routing table. Now these addresses are summarized into a 172.16.0.0 slash 22 address and sent to router A. Here is how this is accomplished. First, you take the three networks and convert them into binary format. From this point, we have to locate the summary border. Now the summary border is where all like bits end. In this case you start from the furthest left bit and work all the way to the right until all the like bits end as indicated by the red bar there. Now once this is accomplished you simply count the number of bits starting from the furthest left all the way to the summary border. In this case there's 22 bits. Therefore our addresses 172.16.1.2 and .3 can be summarized into 172.16.0.0 slash 22. Okay, in summary though, a proper network address must be in place in order for a route summarization to work. Summarization is most effective within a subnetted environment when the network addresses are contiguous blocks of powers of two. For example, 4, 16, or 512 addresses can be represented by a single routing entry because summary masks are binary masks. Summarization must take place in binary boundaries or powers of 2. If the numbers of the network address is not contiguous or a power of 2, you can divide the addresses into groups and try to summarize the groups separately. Now, classes routing, uh, classless routing protocols such as RIP version 2, OSPF, ISIS, or uh, EIGRP summarization or aggregate routes based on shared network numbers within the network. This also includes uh, variable length subnet mask addressing. Classful routing protocols such as RIP version 1 and IGRP automatically summarize routes in the classful network boundary and do not support summarization in other bit boundaries. More information on route summarization can be found at RFC 1518. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to questions at packetbyte.com. And don't forget to visit our website, packetbyte.com. Thank you.